Hey guys and welcome back to my channel It's your girl Nisha and today I am back with another video So as you guys must have seen by the title This is another huge Sephora haul Oh my goodness I felt like I haven't done one of these in a hot minute As you guys can see by my setup I am back home Probably when I do post this video I will be back on the island Because my break is so short But being on the island Like there is no Sephora there Like there's no like makeup stores No nothing No Ulta No Shoppers Drug Mart Literally nothing On the island I was building up my list of all the stuff that I wanted to get all the new makeup I want to try all the new skincare stocking up on my current favorites and just building that cart up up until this rouge sale so I know this video is a little bit late never late than never so this is my very huge over $2,000 Sephora haul from the rouge VIP Sephora sale I did spend a lot of money just because I wanted to make sure I was stocked up for the rest of my semester on the little things that I needed and of course I had to get some new makeup and such to try because I couldn't miss out on trying some new things for you guys and filming some more videos in the future there is a lot of stuff we have to cover as you guys can see this is like literally a huge haul like over two thousand dollars worth oh my gosh i feel like i can never stop shopping like shopping is just so therapeutic to me okay so we are gonna get right started before we get into the haul please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below turn on your post notifications give this video a thumbs up and let's get right into this huge haul if you guys have seen my other sephora haul videos i usually do these in categories so first I'm gonna start off with makeup skincare body care fragrance and hair care so I do have quite a few makeup and a lot of skincare to try so we're gonna go ahead and dig right in into the Sephora haul during this year there has been a release of new foundations which hasn't been done in a while that I personally thought was yes I need to get that foundation but after seeing some of these reviews I literally had to go and grab these foundations so the first one that I have this is the Charlotte Tilbury beautiful skin foundation and this is in the shade 10 neutral and then the second one that I have this is the NARS light reflecting foundation in the shade Syracuse I was able to try both of these foundations and I have to say I absolutely love them so I was able to try the Charlotte Tilbury foundation and I have to say the shade match is amazing I got 10 neutral which is a shade darker than I would typically get but since I'm coming from the island I did get a little bit more tan so I had to go a little bit darker in my foundation but this is amazing it glided on really well it has amazing medium to full coverage and it felt super lightweight and it lasted it very nicely and I wore my mask with this and there wasn't much transfer with the mask which was amazing so I absolutely love this foundation and the second one is the NARS light reflecting foundation this is what I'm actually wearing for my face today as you guys can see and when I initially applied it on oh my gosh guys this is literally magic in a bottle like it's literally magic so I got this in the shade Syracuse and it matches me pretty well because typically this is like my foundation that I would go over here in Canada this foundation is amazing oh my goodness I was literally so taken aback when I applied this it literally looks like skin and it looks so flawless it's amazing and it is super lightweight so 10 out of 10 I absolutely love this foundation so I highly recommend you guys get your hands on it but I'm so glad I was able to pick this up because these two foundations I was really excited to try and I've never been hyped up to try a new foundation in a good while so highly recommend it I'm so glad I was able to get 20% off of these so the next products I got these are by two face so I was able to get the Too Faced lip injections so the first one that I got this is the lip injection maximum plump and then they also had this duo set as well sexy plump lips that last so this is the lip injections extreme but this is in the clear and the pink formula on the island I just happened to bring my lip injections with me and I just developed this obsession with wearing it on the island because I don't wear that much makeup when I'm there just because it is really hot and going to school there in the heat so I've just been obsessed with these lip injections so I did bring the clear one with me to the island and I've just been obsessed with wearing this with like no makeup or with my tinted moisturizer so when they had the duo I had to pick it up this is a beautiful pink color that I can definitely wear on the island every day and this is in the shade bubblegum yum and I just wanted to try the maximum plum just to see how it looks so I wanted to give this one a try because this one was the maximum plum extra strength instant and long-term lip plumper I can definitely say that I am stocked up for my lip plumpers lip injections by Too Faced so the next product that I got, this is the Bare Minerals Original Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF of 15 and I got this in the shade Neutral Tan 21. So it is a little bit more tan than I am but I am going to be wearing this on the island because I thought it would be a very quick and easy thing to put on the go when I do want something on my skin. I remember trying this years and years and years ago and I don't know, I just never happened to like repurchase it. So I was able to repurchase this and I will be bringing this with me on the island to wear on a daily basis so I'm glad this also has SPF 
15 as well, which is perfect. So the next products I picked up are more Charlotte Tilbury products. So I picked up two. So this is the Hyaluronic and Happiness Color Bomb Lipstick. And I believe this is in the shade Pillow Talk. Yes. And then I also picked up the Eyes to Mesmerize. Kind of like a cream color eyeshadow. And this is also in the shade Pillow Talk. So this lip balm, I actually saw it had really good reviews. So it, the packaging, obviously, is by Charlotte Tilbury. And it looks stunning. And when you do open it up, it is, has a beautiful, nice, balmy texture with a lot of pigment to it. So I thought this would be perfect for me to wear when I'm on the island and I do want a little something on my face and plus you can never go wrong with Charlotte and then I also picked up the Pillow Talk Eyes to Memorize Cream Eyeshadow so I already did give this a try as well when I was getting ready to go downtown because I was so excited to try it the texture is really nice it does glide really nicely onto the eyes and it does increase so I did apply an eyeshadow base before I did try this on and it was amazing it lasted so nicely and it kind of like glimmered in the sun and I absolutely loved it so this has become quickly my new favorite so the next two products that I got these are by makeup by Mario so it is their new ultra suede sculpting lip pencil and this is in the shade toasty and then I picked up the ultra suede cozy lip cream in the shade pinky brown so it comes with a makeup by Mario sharpener which is pretty nice so this is what the liquid lip does look like so that is what the pinky brown liquid lipstick does look like this would look absolutely stunning with a darker lip liner I am so down for the shade and then we have the lip liner and this is in the lip liner in the shade toasty so I actually bought these two together because I thought it would be such a really good pairing with each other so that is what the toasty lip liner does look like I actually think it would be really nice probably more so for the winter because the lip liner is a little bit more cool tone but absolutely these colors are stunning so I'm so happy I was able to grab the new products by makeup by Mario these are my last lip products so I did pick up Fenty's new lipsticks. I literally had to get Fenty's new lipsticks because one, the packaging of these is amazing. So this is the lipstick holder and then you have the actual lipsticks that you're able to refill which is amazing because this helps the environment. It helps to produce less waste and helps to recycle as well. And I just think this idea is so cute. So I did pick up two shades. So I picked up Gola Sista and the MVP and then I picked up two of the holders. I picked up one in matte black and I had to pick up the rose gold. So we're going to to put this together while we are here just to see how it does work because I think this idea is absolutely such a cool idea. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is what the Fenty lipstick holder looks like in her typical rose gold packaging. And it does have some weight to it as well, so it does feel pretty expensive without the pretty expensive like price tag. Oh my gosh, this is so so stunning oh my goodness i absolutely love the matte black i think this is so nice fenty honestly tops her entire lip products like i don't even know how it's possible but she always comes up with such bomb products they just feel so luxurious so now we're gonna open up scola sista and the mvp and see how we are going to put this together okay so this is how the refill does come in it's kind of like a little bullet over here okay so i literally cannot open it make sure it clicks Okay, so I literally had to YouTube that. Okay, so I basically just took the case and I just popped the little thing down. So it was just like that and it just like had to shake it down. I'm going to put, what is this one? Skull Assist. I'm going to put this in the rose gold one. So I'm going to see if it fits. So I popped that in. Now I'm going to pop this in to see if it clicks. So then you, oh, that's so cool. Okay, and then you just grab it. And then you try it. Oh my god, I love this. This is such a unique idea. So this is the shade Scala Sista. So it looks so stunning, like a nice everyday kind of like a rose nude. <gasps> And it just glides so easy. Like, look at that pigment. So that is that shade right over there. I absolutely love the shade, and I love how it glided on so easily. So I'm just going to pop this in. And you do want to hear it pop, like you do want to hear that click so you know that it's closed. I am just such a fan of this packaging, like I cannot get over it. I love it. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the MVP, which is this beautiful red in. So I'm just going to... Okay, so setting these lipsticks up is a little bit of a mission. So I'm just going to take this, put this in the base, and hear that click. 
and then this is what MVP looks like which is this very nice beautiful kind of like blue red oh my goodness I love it oh my god okay so that is a beautiful matte red oh my gosh I love it Rihanna you outdid yourself literally you're always outdoing yourself improving everything so I'm gonna have that snap I just love this so this is what I have the red in which I think is kind of like sexy you know it's red and black always good to go together so yes definitely had to grab my hands on the new Fenty lipsticks these packagings are everything I absolutely love them definitely had to get my hands on them during the sale so kind of like the last two beauty items that I have this I ended up getting the Sephora collection total covered sponge angle so this is one of their beauty sponges so I ended up getting one of that because the Sephora collection during the sale it was 30% off so I did end up picking one of these and then I ended up picking up the Sephora collection blending set total coverage blending sponge so yeah I ended up picking up these sponges which I thought would be really nice it does come with four sponges so two circular ones and two teardrop ones so I thought these would be nice to bring with me on the island in case I needed like another sponge and I didn't want to bring my beauty blender so I thought I would go ahead with the Sephora collection one since they are pretty good to use on your skin oh I also do have one more so I ended up getting the K Ali and Huda Beauty Juicy Kit so this includes a red matte liquid lipstick and one of their new fragrances so I thought this would be so cute to have and I know Huda Beauty did reformulate her liquid lipsticks as well and K Ali her sister came out with like a new fragrance so I was like oh my gosh yes I would love to try this fragrance so this is what the liquid lipstick looks like the typical Huda Beauty liquid lipstick and this is in the shade lover and then I'm just going to swatch it I'm gonna swatch it next to the red okay so this one has a little bit more pink to it so it still has like that nice reddish hue it does have a little bit more pink and it is a little bit more red and vibrant which is very cute because I can definitely see myself wearing it for the summer I definitely love that and now I'm just gonna go ahead and try her fragrance it is a fruity floral fragrance crafted as a succulent fusion of sweet fruits juicy berries and flirty floral notes that will make your mouth water and keep everyone wanting more let's see how this smells so first off the packaging of this is so cute the very typical standard KLE packaging which is so beautiful I absolutely love the red so I'm just gonna ooh, I'm gonna go ahead and spray myself Ooh, this smells so good. Oh my God, this reminds me of another fragrance that I used to have. Ooh, what does it remind me of? It doesn't remind me of Marc Jacobs, but it reminds me of something that is a little bit more like fruity and floral, similar to this. Oh, this just smells so good. This is Eden Juicy Apple Number no. 1. If you guys really love that nice fruity floral kind of smell, I would definitely highly recommend getting this. Honestly, like smelling it, I'm definitely gonna get a bigger size of this. I'm so glad that I took a chance without smelling this and I actually ended up getting it and loving it. Okay, so since we did go with fragrances, I'm just going to quickly hop into fragrances because I have two fragrances to show you. So the first one that I got is, this is by Love by Killian, Don't Be Shy. And this fragrance has been sold out forever. Like every single time I tried to get it, I literally couldn't. And apparently this is the fragrance that Rihanna loves to wear and this is the brand that she loves. So I had to get it because people just said it smelled so good. So this is what the bottle looks like. I did get the travel size just to see if I did like it because the bigger size is over 300 dollars which is pretty pricey for a fragrance i shouldn't even be talking because i spent over two grand on this haul it smells so good it literally like when you sprayed it i did spray it before this video and it does smell like candy it literally smells like nice warm candy this isn't a fragrance i would wear during the spring or the summer months i will wear this more so for the fall and the winter when it does get a little bit more colder but i absolutely love this i feel like this is going to be my new favorite fall and winter fragrance but i'm so glad i was able to pick this up and it came back in stock and i was able to get it so the next fragrance that i got this is a little bit more on the higher end side so i ended up getting the top Ford, and this is the private blend roses travel collection with an atom at atomizer I cannot I cannot pronounce that but this is how it does look so this is the atomizer that you will put one of these veils into one of these it just smells amazing so it includes the uh, I am going to butcher these names even though I did take French for most of my life so the rose the fluffy rose de chen rose de rosy so those are the three rose scents that does come in this box I'm super excited to try as soon as I open the box and smelled it 
It just smelled like flowers just hitting my face. Like these are true rose scents. And they just smell so good. And these are Eau de Parfum too. So they are a little bit more stronger and they will last a little bit longer. So I am definitely taking these with me on the island as well because I do love to smell good while I'm there on the island. Super excited I was able to get my hands on the set. So I was able to try some of Tom Ford's new rose fragrances. So now that we're done with the fragrances and the makeup, now we can go on to skincare. So for skincare, it is a pretty huge set. So let's get right through this so i did end up getting the sephora collection glycolic acid glow peel pads for radiance and smoothness these are very similar to the first a beauty peel pads and i did end up getting three of them because i absolutely love them i love to use them in my skincare right before i get out of the shower and i'm beginning my skincare i'll literally quickly go through my face with one of these and then go in with like my toner my essence serums moisturizer all that kind of stuff so I absolutely love these as you guys can see so I definitely had to pick up three because these are 30% off so I'm so glad to pick these up and stock up on them. So the next products that I got these are by The Ordinary. So the first one I picked up is The Ordinary Caffeine Solution 5% with EGCG. I absolutely love to use this underneath my eyes so this is basically kind of like an eye serum. So it does have a little dropper so you put this on before you put on your eye cream. So this kind of helps to deep puff and eliminate any dark circles on your eyes which I absolutely need it because as a medical student I literally get zero sleep so definitely had to stock up on this and the next two products that I had to get these are the ordinary hyaluronic acid 2% plus b5 so I definitely had to pick these up and these are the bigger sizes as well these are the 60 ml and I absolutely love these hyaluronic acids I absolutely love them they are very affordable and they do the job they do hydrate your skin really well so this is what the bottle does look like as we know we are very familiar with the ordinary for being a very affordable brand but the ingredients in it and and the hydration that it does gives is phenomenal. So I definitely had to stock up on two of these hyaluronic acid serums. So speaking of eye serums, the next product that I got, this is the Core Organics Very Bright Vitamin C Eye Cream. So this eye cream has been very hyped up because one, the packaging is very refillable. And also the packaging of this is so cute. Like how can you not be obsessed with this packaging? The top is very bejeweled as well and it is a glass container. And I just absolutely love the packaging. Like this would make me want to do my skincare every day. It does have a little pod over here that you can just take out when it's empty and pop a new one back in so that way you are able to refill it as well and it also does save the environment so I really appreciate it when brands are making their packaging a lot more eco-friendly as well and this is a certified organic brightening and nutrient-rich eye cream that uses the power of vitamin C to target the appearance of aging for firmer brighter more youthful looking skin around the eyes I don't have aging skin but I am 25 so it doesn't hurt to have something a little bit more brightening and firming around the eyes as well super excited to try this because I literally just ran out of my eye cream today so cannot wait to try this with my skin care routine. Okay, so the next few products that I have, these are by Glow Recipe. So the first ones that I have, this is the Glow Recipe Guava Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. So I did get two, so that way I can stock up when I do go to the island. And the Glow Recipe Plump Plump Hyaluronic Cream Dewy Moisture Plus Plump Moisturizer. So this is their new refillable moisturizer. So I literally had to try it. These are the Vitamin C Dark Spot Serums, and I absolutely love it. As soon as I was able to use this, this literally changed my skin. Like, it literally helped to take away all my dark spots. It helped to brighten and smooth my skin especially with the hyperpigmentation that I had this was pretty phenomenal to make my skin a lot more even and the packaging of glow recipe is always so cute it comes in this little cute kind of like I figure it kind of looks like a guava because it does have like a little curve to it and those little crevices in the bottle this serum the packaging is so cute the formula is amazing so I literally had to stock up on two of them because this has got to be by far to date one of the best vitamin C serums that I have that works for my very acne prone and sensitive skin 100% highly recommend it, so that way I had to stock up on two and the next up is the plum plum hyaluronic cream This has gotten really good reviews online as well So I literally had to stock up on it and once again, I love how the packaging is refillable So it does come in a really nice glass packaging and when you do open it up It does come with like that little pod that you're able to take out and it does come sealed as well Which is what I really love so I'm super excited to try this because apparently everyone really loved it And it's supposed to be a lightweight creamy gel moisturizer that melts onto the skin for a refreshing dewy glow it contains three plum extracts five weights of hyaluronic acid and polyglutamic acid for long-lasting intense hydration ice willow herb helps balance oil and supports a healthy looking skin very best for combination skin and I absolutely think this would be really good for me when I'm on the island because when you're there you do tend to sweat and get a little bit oily a little bit more faster but my skin is a little bit on the drier side of that hopefully this is kind of where it's able to balance my skin in that kind of context so super excited to give this a try so the next two products that I 
have are actually masks. This is a repurchase for me because I absolutely love these masks. Decided to restock up on it. So the first one is the Clota Lee Vinergetic Z Instant Detox Mask. I absolutely love this mask because it does have that kind of like really nice pink clay that kind of tightens pores, removes excess oils, and it has coffee and grape in it, which is amazing for me. And I really love to use this as a quick and easy detox for my skin in the middle of the week when I feel like my skin kind of needs like a nice refresh. Then I have the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment, and this is the Mega Size. So I decided to get the Mega Size of this just because I absolutely love the mask and it didn't make sense for me to get the smaller one. And plus with the huge size, it's able to last me longer. And I just love to use this with my skin literally is so congested and I'm seeing myself start to break out and just my skin looks so dull. This literally clears up my skin if I have any breakouts and it clears it up the next day and I just love the effects that this has on my skin so I actually had to stock up on the mega size of the Glam Glow Clay Mask. So the next two products that I have, these are by Fenty Skin. You guys know I absolutely love my Fenty Skin products. So I picked up the Fenty Skin Total Cleanser Remove It All Cleanser. So I definitely had to stock up one more on these. And the Fenty Skin Fat Water Pore Refining Toner Serum. I just love these products. I love what they do for my skin. You guys have heard me rave about these 24-7. Absolutely love them. Had to stock up on some of my favorite products. So the next products are serums, so I did have to stock up on some of my serums as well. So the first one that I got was the Charlotte Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. So this product is amazing guys. I absolutely love to use this in my nighttime routine. So this is how the bottle does look like, typical Charlotte Tilbury rose gold packaging. And I just love to use this in my nighttime routine because this helps to brighten my skin overnight. And I just love how it smells and the hydration that it gives my skin. So I absolutely love this, but I mainly use it for the purpose of brightening my skin overnight. Highly recommend. I did have to give this a repurchase. So so the next product that I got, this is the Dr. Jark Sika Pear Tiger Grass Serum. So this helps to soothe sensitive skin. And I know when I was there on the island last time, my skin did have a little bit more of a flare-up because it got a lot more dry and it literally looked like it had burns on my skin because it had a lot more humidity in the air. And it's just a very different environment than the Canadian Toronto weather that we have here. I know when I used this like a year ago, it really helped to calm down my skin. So I'm definitely going to keep this with me just to help to soothe, calm, and hydrate my skin while it is adjusting back again to the climate of St. Kitts and Davis. So the next two products are moisturizers. So I did purchase doubles of these because I absolutely love these products. And like I said before, my skin gets super dry in the Caribbean. So I do need something a little bit more intense because I know when I first went there, I brought like all these lightweight gel kind of textures and that did not work out for me. So I did purchase the Dr. Jart Ceramidin Cream. So this is a very nice moisture retention shield for your face. And I absolutely love it because my skin gets super, super dry. And then with this, I also did purchase two of the Skin Fix Eczema Dermatitis Face Balm. So I absolutely love this. So I typically use the Ceramidin Cream at night and I use this kind of like as my night moisturizer just because it is a lot more thicker in consistency and it helps to hydrate my skin overnight. And I do like to slug my skin with the Skin Fix Balm just because it does give a really nice thick texture and it does hydrate my skin. So this is what the moisturizer does look like. I absolutely love this and I've used this previously in the past especially in the intense winters that we do have here in Toronto. My skin absolutely loves this, so I did have to purchase two. And then with the Skin Fix Dermatitis Face Balm, it is small, but it is mighty, and it does make such a huge difference, especially if you have like a dry patch on your face or your skin it feels a little bit more tight and dry. I just love to slather my skin with this, and a little does go a very long way. So definitely these two are a match made in heaven. So super glad to repurchase this, and I'm definitely taking this with me to the islands. So the next product I have, this is a mini size, and this is the Wishful Yoga glow enzyme scrub and I just bought a mini size just to take it back with me to the island because I did buy like the huge size as well but I'm always so scared of running out so I did buy this little one just to take with me to travel as well and just keep it in my carry-on because I just absolutely love this to use it whether my lips are dry and I use it as like a lip scrub but this literally just exfoliates and brightens your skin and makes your skin feel so smooth and soft and makeup applies a lot better your skincare applies a lot better so I definitely had to get a mini size of my Yo Glow enzyme scrub so this is a jumbo size. So this is the Fresh Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence with anti-pollution, smooths, and boosts luminosity. So you guys know I raved about this product previously before and I absolutely loved it. Like this essence was literally my go-to and I did run out of my essence while I was on the island. In my boxy trim, I remember getting this essence and this was the 111 Skin Essence and that essence is pretty expensive. When I looked it up on the website, it was like over $100 for that essence. When I came 
here. I brought that essence with me and guys, more than two thirds of that bottle spilled in my suitcase. Like that bottle was full. The entire bottle just leaked in my suitcase and I was just like, you're kidding me. Now I literally ran out of an essence so I did purchase this big size and I did purchase this before that actually happened so I guess it's a good thing I bought the jumbo. So this is the Kombucha Essence by Fresh. I absolutely love it. It just helps with making my skin feel nice, luminous, hydrated and I love that this essence doesn't burn my skin. I had to purchase a big size and I'm going to make sure that this doesn't break or leak in my suitcase when I go back. I did have to repurchase this. This is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. And I did buy two of these. So these are amazing. I love to use these right before I get into the shower. After I remove all my makeup, I just like slather myself in the shower with it. Just remove any of the excess makeup or sunscreen that I have on my skin. And I just absolutely love these. So I did have to purchase two of the value size of the Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. Because these are phenomenal. And I feel like these make my skin feel so nice and clean. And it doesn't have any makeup or sunscreen residue on my skin so highly recommend and I just had to repurchase two of them. Next product that I got of course I had to stock off on a Sephora collection makeup cleansing wipe. I like to use these cleansing wipes to remove the physical aspect of my makeup once I've removed that then I will go in with a micellar water just to remove everything else and an eye makeup remover as well then I will go in with my cleansing balm. I just like to make sure that all the makeup gets off of my skin so I will do multiple steps to get this makeup off just because my skin is very active prone and I do not want it to break out so I had to stock off on a Sephora collection makeup cleansing wipe so these are the last two skincare products that I have so the first one is the you to the people kale plus green tea spinach vitamin superfood cleanser face wash so I love to use this to cleanse my skin as well so the Fenty cleanser I like to keep this with me more so in the shower just because I love how it helps to remove any excess makeup and such. the kale and green tea spinach cleanser I like to use this when I'm cleansing my skin at the sink and I just absolutely love the feel and hydration that this cleanser gives me so I definitely had to restock on this as well and the last skincare item that I have these are the peace out acne treatment dots and I did get the bigger size so these are the 40 I absolutely just love these acne dots these acne treatment dots are amazing especially if you do have a little bit more of a breakout so it does open like this and it does come with four of these little uh, why am I losing my words for these they come in these little pouches and inside it does have 10 dots in there and you're able to stick them on and you can leave them on during the day or at night I usually leave them on during the day when I'm at home and I see a breakout put it on in a few hours you'll see all the inflammation from the acne go onto that pad and it's literally clear no scarring or hyperpigmentation left afterwards and I just absolutely love that so I did have to pick up two because I don't know why just on the island I just love to break out here my skin likes to look so nice and flawless and when I go over there it's literally like I haven't slept in days I don't know why probably because the air is a little bit more drier than here but I did have to stock up on two of these Oh, and one more thing. I also did repurchase my Sephora Collection Organic Cotton Pad. These are 50 pads. I absolutely love these. I use these with my micellar water and my eye makeup remover to remove my makeup. I literally bought like five of them. I had to stock up on them because these are so amazing. And I love how soft and I love how big the pad is. So I did have to stock up on five of these to bring with me. And I also forgot I also did buy the Shiseido Facial Cotton Pad. So these I absolutely really love to use these to clean my ear piercings. Because I don't know why I got my ear piercings things pierced back in August and they were healing just fine they didn't get infected at all up until I went to the island I don't know if it was because of the water or something but my ears just started bleeding they got infected so badly and I was just like what so I was cleaning them so intensely so I just love to use these to clean my ear piercings I definitely had to stock up on these because I'm like I literally couldn't go without using these to clean my ears because they're just like so soft so now we are gonna go on to hair care so I did get a few hair care products as well and these hair care products are bit more hydrating just because my hair got super super dry on the island because of the water so for this I purchased the Fable and Main Amla Soothing Serum so this is basically a scalp serum for the hair I can't get over their packaging their packaging is so cute so this is what the serum looks like so you're supposed to massage it into your scalp and it's supposed to help to kind of hydrate and eliminate any dryness onto the scalp as well so I'm really hoping this kind of helps me when I go to the island my scalp gets super itchy and dry and my hair gets super dry too so I'm really hoping 
this helps with all the dryness. And then I got two products by Moroccan Oil. So the first one I got, this is the all-in-one leave-in conditioner, which helps to instantly detangle with 72 hours of softness. So this had really good reviews online as well. And when I was reading it, it's supposed to help to instantly detangle, hydrate for up to 72 hours of softness and nourishment. It protects against breakage and thermal damage and helps reduce static and prevent split ends. So this has a lot of claims and it's been sold out for quite a while online as well. So I'm really hoping this helps with my dry hair on the island. And then I ended up picking up the huge size of the Moroccan oil treatment and I did get the regular one as well and this one actually comes with a pump I didn't even realize that this is the big bottle because I had a mini size when I took it with me to the island and surprisingly it actually helped my hair with hydration so I'm like you know what since that oil helped me there on the island I might as well go ahead and buy the bigger size I definitely had to stock up on this because we are not about dryness we want hydration we want glow we want our hair to look luminous that's the goal we're going for. And the next two products that I got for my hair, these are by the new brand JVN. And this is the Complete Air Dry Cream. And I got a mini size. And I also got the Complete Nourishing Shine Drop. And this is made with clean hemi squalene, a silicone free, vegan, sulfate free, and color safe as well. So this is supposed to make your hair silky. Silicone free oil instantly adds incredible gloss without adding weight. Oh, it's so cute. It is sort of like a pink oil. So you're basically supposed to apply it to your dry hair. So I'm really hoping this helps me when I do straighten my hair and also when my hair is a little bit more natural and curly my hair gets super dry so I'm really hoping this helps to add a little bit more shine luster and hydration and then I got the air dry cream it says here it's supposed to work on any kind of hair to add buildable touchable hold that has natural texture and shine this also had really good reviews I decided to get it because my hair on the island I'm literally always wearing it in a bun because my curls I feel like can never stay in place and hold together so I thought this would be really nice to see how it can hold my curls in place without are getting too frizzy and it's supposed to also help add shine as well which is what I really like because when your hair is dry it gets very dull and lacks luster so I'm really hoping this actually helps so I'm super excited to try these products by JVN. The next two products that I got these are actually pillowcases so I ended up repurchasing the Slip Your Silk pillowcase so I ended up purchasing two of these as well because coming here I needed pillowcases to sleep so I actually already have them on my bed because I'm like I literally couldn't wait till I sleep on it. I just love sleeping on silk pillowcases because it helps to your hair and it also helps prevent any texture any acne on your skin as well and it also helps prevent like those creases that you get when you wake up from like a really good sleep and it just adds less friction when you are sleeping to your hair and skin so I absolutely love these so I did get these in the color charcoal just because they do go with the aesthetic of my room I just love the gray I love the silk pillowcases this is literally my third time repurchasing these and I just absolutely love them so highly highly recommend them I also did purchase two before this haul last year and I brought these with me to the island to put on my pillows love to sleep on them so highly recommend these had to repurchase and these are the last two products of this huge two thousand dollars sephora vip rouge sale haul i also did purchase the josie moran argan pro retina whipped body butter which helps to smooth and firm it has pro retinol derived from pink algae which visibly improves the look of fine lines and wrinkles to refine and smooth the body without flakiness redness or dryness ultra hydrating nourishing and protective it combats dryness dullness loss of firmness and and elasticity and it's supposed to help with the skin's moisture barrier with essential fat acids and potent antioxidants and I already did start using this because when I came back here to Canada I was just like I literally have to try to use this the texture is really nice so this is what the cream does look like so I went through it quite a lot it does have a really nice smell it's not too strong it's not too fragrant I literally just apply this to my skin I wake up my skin is very nice and soft I usually put this on during the night if I do wear it during the day I'll just make sure to add a little bit of SPF to like my decollete and stuff just because the sun hits it and when you are using retinol you always 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 want to use sunscreen to protect your skin and the thing I love about this is it is not greasy on the skin it does dry down really nicely but it still hydrates and it doesn't have that kind of like oily greasy thick feeling after you apply it, it dries down really nicely and it's very comfortable to wear super hydrating absolutely recommend this and I definitely will repurchase this body butter in the future and the last product that I got during this rouge sale, this is the Bum Bum Cream Beja Flor Estee Cream enriched with retinol mimicking cacao oil and plant collagen. When this came out, I was super excited to get my hands on it because it had like flowers and a floral scent and I absolutely love the Bum Bum Cream. If you guys have seen my previous rouge sale haul, I will link this down in the description box down below. Last year before I actually left to the island, I did stock up on a lot of things and I did get like a huge jumbo size of the original 
original yellow bum bum cream that kind of has like the kind of like almond vanilla scent so good absolutely loved it so i decided to go ahead and try this scent a hummingbird is called for beige floor flower kisser in brazil i absolutely love the pink packaging absolutely stunning it just looks so cute Oh, this smells really good. It does have like a really nice floral scent without it being too overpowering. Oh, I absolutely love this. I'm so excited to try this. So this is the Sol de Janeiro Beja Flor Elastic Cream with retinol mimicking cacao oil and plant collagen. Absolutely so excited to go ahead and give this a try. Super excited. That is everything for this huge Sephora Rue sale haul. We went through a lot of stuff. That is all the stuff that I did purchase. I was so glad to actually be able to purchase some new goodies and some repurchases of products that I already too truly love. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching this huge haul with me. I absolutely love doing Sephora hauls. You guys know I do go all out when we do have hauls and I just love buying products and sharing them with you guys. So with that being said, I hope you guys do enjoy watching this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on your post notifications. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. <music>